A very warm welcome. Now, Ukraine is repelling constant attacks on Bakhmut and other surrounding towns by Russian mercenary group Wagner. The announcement by Ukrainian authorities arrived on Monday. This as a missile strike in Kharkiv killed two people and wounded several others. In the frontline town of Siversk, servicemen are using the freezing temperatures and snowfall. This only to help track Russian movements. Now, it should be noted that on Sunday, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced Russia's failure to observe a ceasefire it had declared for Russian Orthodox Christmas. Ukraine never agreed to this ceasefire. It called it a Russian excuse to reinforce more troops. In fact, both sides have accused the other of continuing hostilities throughout the period. But equally important to note is Russia's desperation. As Moscow's invasion of Ukraine grinds towards the one-year mark, Russia's military is under pressure at home to deliver battlefield successes. Here's a report. This is what's left of a marketplace in East Ukraine after it was destroyed by a Russian missile strike. A large crater in the middle of the Kharkiv village as rescue workers sift through piles and piles of rubble. The past few weeks were a bit quieter, says this local. She didn't expect something like this to happen again. Two women were killed and others were wounded, including a 10-year-old girl, according to officials. It comes as Ukraine says it's repelling constant attacks in the eastern Donbass region by Russian mercenaries. In the frontline town of Siversk, servicemen are using the freezing temperatures and snowfall to help track Russian movements. The current weather conditions mean the enemy won't conduct any offensive actions. They try to hide their movements in the very front lines. So we are conducting constant air reconnaissance to fire on them with our artillery. In his nightly video address on Sunday, President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced why he called Russia's failure to observe a ceasefire it had declared for Russian Orthodox Christmas. Ukraine never agreed to the ceasefire, calling it a Russian excuse to reinforce troops. Both sides accused the other of continuing hostilities throughout the period. As Moscow's invasion of Ukraine grinds towards the one-year mark, Russia's military is under pressure at home to deliver battlefield successes. On Sunday, it said a missile strike on Kramatorsk had killed 600 Ukrainian soldiers. But a Reuters reporter found no visible signs of casualties at the scene of the attack, billed by Moscow as revenge for a New Year's attack that killed scores of Russian soldiers. Now on Monday, Ukraine's President Zelensky lauded the resilience of Ukraine's forces. He said that it was because of Ukrainian army and its fighting of waves of attacks in the eastern region of Donbass that had helped Ukraine win time and again with strength. Here are a few highlights of Zelensky's address. The battle for Donbass continues, and although the occupiers have now concentrated their greatest efforts on Solidar, Still, the result of the difficult and prolonged battle will be the liberation of our entire Donbass. I thank all our warriors who protect our Bakhmut and show maximum resilience. Thankful to all the soldiers in Solidar who are withstanding the new and even tougher assaults of the invaders. It is extremely difficult. There are almost no whole walls left. Thanks to the resilience of our soldiers there, in Solidar, we won additional time and additional strength for Ukraine. And what did Russia want to win there? Everything is completely destroyed. There is almost no life left, and thousands of their people are lost. The whole land near Solidar is covered with the corpse of the invaders and scarred from the blows. This is what madness looks like. Russian attacks on Kherson and Ochakiv, on the cities of Donetsk region and Kharkiv region, constant terror against the communities of Sumy region at the border, constant terror against our people in the occupied territory. The world knows that every day of the Russian presence on Ukrainian soil means death, injury, pain and suffering of people. Ukraine must get everything it needs to expel terrorists from our land and to reliably protect our people from any Russian escalation plans. 
But many around the world are wondering how Ukraine has managed to keep up a strong defense during freezing temperatures. But according to Ukrainian servicemen in the frontline town of Siversk, below freezing temperatures and snowfall have in fact helped them to track Russian movements along the front lines. It also stops the enemy from conducting any further offensives. Мы в одно время приехали, и у меня в Солидаре была типа такая же ситуация, что я приезжаю несколько 37 грамматических ошибок на 5 предложений. Что ну, нужно типа, учить? Да, чё, ну. По холодному пороку. In the cold time of the year, when there is snow, masking is visible. As well as the roads and paths which are used to supply provisions and ammunition. During night time, warm silhouettes are visible from thermal imagery and drones. There is currently heavy fighting, but we are fighting the enemy with dignity. Unfortunately, both sides are suffering big losses, which means also our units have losses. Thus, we try to apply more firepower against the enemy so that they have more losses. The current weather conditions mean the enemy doesn't conduct any offensive actions. They try to hide their movements on the very front lines. Thus we conduct constant air reconnaissance to fire on them with our artillery. They doesn't conduct active combat. They are mainly focusing on counter-battery fire. One should never underestimate the enemy. The enemy has not only once found our weaponry on the very front line and hit us with precise strikes where we didn't expect to be struck. That's what we have seen so far. Now, regular forces of Russian Federation, so-called Luhansk People's Republic forces, which means the enemy conducts its maneuvers accurately studying our front positions and understanding the situation. Now for Ukraine, much is also to be credited to combat helicopters. This as Ukrainian helicopters were seen flying around the Kherson region on Sunday as they took part in combat missions. The helicopters, partly decorated in the colours of the Ukrainian flag, launched missiles at combat points as they undertook the operations. Commanders of the units have shared more information. Let's listen in.
We were sent to Mariupol on 29th of March around 3.25 a.m. This flight was one of the riskiest flights of them all. Those days, when the convoy of military vehicles was marching near Kaib, you didn't know where, how, when or where you would meet them. You could drive along the Zaitomar, Kiev route and they could already be there. And you drove there half an hour or two hours ago and there was no one there. Now, as per Russia's defense ministry, Russian warship armed with hypersonic cruise weapons has held exercises in the Norwegian Sea. Last week, President Vladimir Putin sent the frigate to the Atlantic Ocean. It was armed with new generation hypersonic cruise missiles. Clearly, the move has been seen as a signal to the West that Russia will not back down over its war in Ukraine. The vessel held air defense drills to repeal enemy's aerial strikes. The goal of the drills was to check the operations of the air defense system, air and electronic warning systems, anti-aircraft systems, electronic warfare and tactical camouflage systems, air defense control systems. The drills' objectives have been achieved. The vessel is ready to repeal air offensives from various heights and directions.